Let's talk Mets. What a week. Yet another week where we see our team go all out, put up a ton of runs one game where we think, how do we ever lose? We're a machine. We're unstoppable. We're a freight train from hell. So much for this, we can't score with runners in scoring position fiasco. We got the best pitcher in the game. He's going to win his third Cy Young in a row. And then we lose two straight. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. How is this the same team? Like, I don't understand. So yeah, on 9-11, we were able to wear our first responders hats. You saw, probably saw P. Alonzo and his FDNY hat or something like that. NYPD hats. So that was a good, that was good to honor those who have, uh, we lost on that day with a big time major win that uh, we, we needed. And it's, 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 it's amazing that we're starting to give DeGrom run support now, like not just a little run support, like a lot of run support. You know, it used to be we give him one run. Now we're tacking on an additional number after that one, which is just fantastic. And then the next day, very, a winnable game. We have Lugo on the bump. Robbie Ray is uh, thrown for the Jays. And he got some help defensively. Guriel with an amazing, like an outstanding catch in the outfield. And, and I'm, I'm watching the highlights and Lugo is just giving up squibblers and dribblers and bloops and all these hits that uh, as a pitcher, I can't tell you how much that affects me secondhand. I mean, firsthand, it makes you want to rip out, rip off your jaw. It, it just makes you want to burst into flames. Shout out, pardon me, uh, Incubus. So I can only imagine how Lugo feels knowing that he's get he's he, he, when that happens, you are getting the best of the hitter. The hitter didn't get it, didn't get it fully or at, at all, but barely hit it, and it's a hit and it's scoring runs, and that's just end up what ended up happening that Saturday. Of course, the Mets have a chance to win it. Well, before that, Miguel Castro looked good. So maybe he listened to the pod or watched the show and he said to himself, you know what? I'm going to prove this fat asshole wrong. So kudos to Miguel Castro for getting on track. Wilson Ramos. So he, the water buffalo had a day in Buffalo on 9-11. He went off. Big time game. And then he comes back and he's in a big spot. Runner on, grounds into a yet another double play. The dude is a double play factory he just can't not hit into double plays uh and then rosario ends up striking out but he gets on base reaches base because it gets away from the catcher and it gets picked up at first cannot end the game three two runner on first cannot end the game getting picked off he just can't and that's been kind of the theme of this past week is like the the base running blunders and gaffes have just been true to roof just unreal how bad we become at base running. And you, you, I mean, you, I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to when the season ends and we look back and we get to see at how many runs those fucking base running errors cost us. Cause it seems like it's happening every game, sometimes now multiple times a game ending like what could potentially be big scoring innings. Uh, so Sunday the 13th, we lost again. We went up against Ryu, who's having himself a year, had himself a year last year. Uh, you Maybe you're a Dodgers fan, and you thought he should have won you Cy Young over DeGrom because he had, I think, maybe a lower ERA. He definitely beat out DeGrom in one of the categories, and he looked good. I mean, you know, I watched a lot of the highlights, and he was just painting the K-Zone. Just do 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 little hand, little hand. Is dotting that thin white line, that box. So, yeah, I mean, Mets didn't have a ton of success against them, but again, it was close. You know, the box, you know, you look at the final score, you're like, we got blown out, but it was close. It was close, and then uh, bases were loaded. Brock comes in, couldn't hold, uh, didn't get a call, and you look at it, and it's like, yeah, that's a strike. I mean, if we're, we're going to get, like, really picky now. So, I thought it was a strike three and said it's a walk, base is loaded, and then Hughes comes in and it goes all to shit. And uh, I think the it was 2-1 at the time, and then they went up something like 6-1, to 7-1, to one, and then we tried to claw back and couldn't. But So we lose two out of three of the Jays. We're off on Monday. And then we lose uh, on Tuesday night. Not as bad. You know, I've got to give props to Porcello. 
considering how his season has gone, this was kind of one of his better efforts. You know, uh, he gave up four and I think five innings. Of course, the the killer was the two run shot to Gregorius, which ended up uh, chasing him out of the game. I I I hate Jake Arrieta. I mean, there's no bones about it. I, I just think I, he sucks. He's just I, oh, and he's gotten the best of us the past two times. So it's a such a hard o, and I just want him to suffer. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? Bases loaded in the second or third. Alonzo flies out. Pete, we need you right there. We need you to do something other than get out. And Arietta end up leaving the game with a hamstring issue. So who knows how long that keeps him out. We'll get to another problematic hamstring in a little bit. But if that, you know, rules him out of one game, I'll take it. Because that's one, that could be one more loss for the Phils. Not that it matters at this point. I mean, who knows how this game turns out? I mean, right now they're in the top of the six. It's 6-4 Phillies. we got two runners on, one out, 2-2 two, two count to Giorme. And he hits a ball to left out. No, caught. So, uh, yeah, 9-15. Another base running error. Oh, so bases low in the six. Wilson Ramos hits into a double play. <laughs> oh, shocker. And then we had runners on the eighth, and there's a, I think Jimenez hits a dribbler down the third where uh, they had the shift, so there's no one at third. So Segura comes over from the shortstop position. For some reason, Mc, McNeil is, I mean, Dom Smith is going to score. So at least we get another run. We're getting closer. It would be four to two. Instead, McNeil runs when he didn't have to, and he gets tagged out by Segura, ending over. No run. You know, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of mental errors. You know, even in the the game on the 16th, yesterday, Wednesday. I mean, this was, uh, you know, I, I for some reason, I'm, I, I always tune in late to these games because 7 o'clock is not a great time for us in this household. It's like, that's bath time, that's bedtime, that's focus on the baby family time. So I can't, I try to like watch it on the phone or the you know, iPad or wherever I can get any kind of signal. I will try and, you know, tune in, but most times I'll miss it. And so I, uh, I knew DeGrom was pitching. And so it was weird to see a crooked number after like, in like the second or third inning, the second inning, there's a crooked number in DeGrom's on the pop. What is going on? Oh, Nemo hits a shot to the right center. Oh, that's going to score one. That's got to score two. Oh, no. Hammy. Triple for Nemo. Game tied. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, maybe they got a little magic left in them, folks. So um, you figure, oh, DeGrom goes, DeGrom exits after two innings. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, so like our best chance at winning, which is not great because we don't win for DeGrom, goes down the shitter because he's got something. And everyone, you know, I mean, the Twitter feed went, went just a ape shit bananas just like could not like worst case scenario like uh, not only is the season over life is over like what is going on with the ground then it comes out that he had a right hamstring spasm which is interesting because i've had spasms but i guess i've never had like serious spasms so I, I'm, I'm not one to talk but you hear spasm and you think oh it's a little hmm, little twinge little tweak like how bad could that be but bad enough that he didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. So I, I get it, you know. But the three earned runs definitely pump up his ERA, I think, above two, which that he will need to come back in his next two, two starts at least and get back to, uh, get back to normal or his normal in order to, be, uh, to still have a shot at the, at the Cy Young. Huge, huge win though on the 16th. Big time win. Really impressed with the with everyone's fight and grit. You know, never say die attitude. And um just super happy with what they were able to accomplish considering, you know, that their ace only gave them two. You gotta be proud of the bullpen as well. You know, 
coming in and, and uh, was it Erasmo Ramirez again? This guy is like, he deserves an award medal or something. And I know he's not, he's not, you know, making the sorority girls wet by any means. Like he's not, you know, the main attraction. He's not sugar and spice and everything nice. He's not fireworks on the 4th of July, but he gets the motherfucking job done, folks. And that's all we asked for. That's all we asked for. And that's what I talked about. You know, I talked about this in a previous episode. You can roll out all these motherfuckers that can flamethrowers, that can just dial it up to 100 a million times a game, but get, you know, the ball gets knocked out of the park all the time. Ramirez comes in, I don't know, I, you know, he's just location, location, location. Hey, here's a ball. You may hit it. It will not land safely. <laughs> it's going to go to someone I trust with a glove. So super pumped about Erasmo Ramirez. I think that he's been the kind of a, as far as, you know, pitching has, our pitching has just been, this is the worst pitching we've had in a long time. And the the luck that we've had, the misfortunes we've had, the black cloud that we've had over this pitching staff, both in the bullpen and starters, and Erasmo Ramirez is that beacon of light coming through and doing well. And he's doing it again tonight on the 17th. We were down, we were down 6-3 when I tuned in, which